Hey, Yarn Lincoln here from Landfish TV. Welcome to another episode down here in Port Melbourne, down at Sandridge Beach. And if you've followed my videos, you probably noticed that I've been down here before. I go out here in the kayak and I drift a lot of these areas out here because there's a lot of weed and sandy patches and I find that it's actually good for flathead and Mark from Mark's Fishing actually put me onto this area when I went out with him in the boat. But ever since I've been coming out here on a kayak and I've been doing well. So there's a nice little parking area up there where you can actually park your car and on high tide you can see the watermark there. It's fairly high so it's easy to get your kayak in. So if you're down here and you want an easy place to launch a kayak to fish this area out here, come down here. You don't have to pay but you can't stop in this little car park up in here between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Obviously they've got that there for the campers or something like that so they can't come down here and camp all the time. But outside of those hours, it's free game and you can park there and come out here and go for a fish all day. So the beauty about this area is if you do need to go to the toilet, there's a toilet block just there. So the car park's there, toilet block there. I'll chuck a link to the exact location on Google Maps for this car park. So check out the description below for that information. So let's head out there and see if we can catch something. Tug there. <laughs> scared me. It's always when you're daydreaming, isn't it? <laughs> Little pinkies down there. Yep, got it. Ah, oh, off again. Come on, come back. Who else loves iced coffee? Love the stuff. So, right in close, next to this first yellow pole. So you got two, three, yeah, one, two, three of them along here. And I'm at the first one here, and the car park's just over there. So the wind's sort of blowing in a cross direction over there. So hopefully, this will take me across those shallower parts really nicely be able to pick something up so just in case you've missed it on my previous videos what I like to do is whichever way the kayaks drifting that's the way I'm casting just allows you to work that lure a little bit easier and use a lot of jig head than you would if you were casting the opposite direction I got a fish on now. Yep. First fish for the day. So it's a nice flathead. <laughs> hey, come back here, buddy. There we go. Oh, almost dropped the rod in the water then. That would have sucked. Just got a nice uh, flathead as the first fish for the day. Whoop! <laughs> that would be a good slow-mo if you saw the fish slide past you just then. I'm really good at the handling these flathead, um, so it's not hard to improve on my handling skills. Because <laughs> as you've probably seen on a number of my videos, they spike me, I drop them, they go everywhere. Now he's actually at the front of the boat. Oh, front of the kayak, sorry. Oh, can I turn this or not? front of the kayak, sitting next to me thongs. And I actually think he's popped off the hook. So he's gonna be fun to get. I uh, wonder how I am gonna get him. Oh, he actually did get me. Oh well. Um, might actually have to hook him again. Or do I use the net? It's gonna be a little hard to get him. 
might just uh, try and flip him into the water and set him on his merry way. There we go. <laughs> Once again, 110% professional. <laughs> Oops. Stuff coming off everywhere. Well, that's it for me today. It was, well, it was a nice little morning. Wasn't too many fish, just the one, but still a beautiful place. And I have picked up fish here before. So I've got flathead, snook, pinkies, salmon, and that's all available in this little area. Normally I stick to this big rectangle, which is between the end of Webb Dock and the end of Princess and fish all along here. Cause I don't really like heading out too far in the kayak, but this still gets me some fish in this big rectangle here. So hopefully this gives you a new place to go, new place to check out, and might even make you go buy a kayak so you can go and, you know, head out on the bay. See you next time. Thanks for watching Landfish TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.